everyone. My name is Livia Johnson, but I go by Livy, and I'm one of the Junior Giants Ambassadors. And today, you're going to learn how to read a food label. So here I have a generic uh, food label, and we're going to save the bag of chips. So there are four servings per container. Uh, serving size is a cup and a half. So a cup and a half is 240 calories, and all of the other things are included. But if I eat the whole bag, then I times 240 times four because there's four um, servings and that's 960 calories. And you also have to multiply everything else times four. So to maintain and achieve a healthy body weight, we have to balance the number of calories you eat and drink with the number of calories your body uses. 2000 calories a day is the general guide for nutrition advice, but your calorie needs to be maybe higher or lower depending on your age, if you're a boy or girl, weight, physical, activity level, and much more. So now we're going to talk about total fat. So total fat, fat is found in plants and animals. Total fat um, includes um, your saturated fat, which is higher in proportions in animal products, uh, usually solid at room temperature. Trans fat formed naturally is found in small amounts in dairy products, beef, and lamb. Trans fat formed artificially during food processing is found in baked goods, coffee creamer, ready to use frosting, and snack foods. Next, we're going to talk about cholesterol. Cholesterol is a waxy fat like substance found in cells of the body. Cholesterol is produced by the body primarily in the liver and also consumed from food. The human body makes all the cholesterol that it needs, so it's important that we don't eat more cholesterol because we don't need it. Sodium. Um, usually when you think of sodium, you think salt and sodium are the same thing. Wrong. Salt is, is the chemical name uh, found from sodium chloride. It's a crystal-like compound that is abundant to nature. Sodium is a mineral and one of the chemical elements found in salt. Next is the carbohydrates, and these are primarily found in plant foods, with the exception products which contain milk, sugar, lactose. Total carbohydrates um, are very important. So dietary fiber. So dietary fiber is a carbohydrate made of many sugar molecules linked together, cannot easily be digested in the small intestines. Um, that's why dietary fiber is important, um, increases the frequency of bowel movements, lower blood, blood glucose, and cholesterol levels. Next, we have total sugars. We have... Um, the sugars that are naturally present in foods and beverages, such as milk and fruit. That's why fruit is so sweet. And then we have added sugars, which include added sugars that were made in the processing foods, such as sweeteners, sugar, syrups, honeys, all those sorts of things. Um, and even concentrated from fruit or vegetable juices. And the last thing are protein. So protein is both found in plants and animals. Um, and protein is made up of hundreds and thousands of smaller units called amino acids. There are two types of amino acids. One is the essential amino acids and are required for normal body functioning, functioning but uh, they cannot be made by the body and must be obtained from food. Then we have the non-essential amino acids can be made by the body from essential amino acids consumed in food or in normal breakdown of food proteins. So I know that was quick. I know that was just an introduction. If you have any questions or concerns, you are welcome to send me an email at conquer.jrg at gmail.com, and I'm free to give you more information. Um, I hope you guys stay safe. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next time.